So this is an example of how to create a bar graph in R. Um, this right here is the R console or the command window and in this place is where we type in anything that we're going to be doing with R. So what I like to do is do an example of a bar graph. So the first thing to do is put the data in. So I'm going to go look at an example. This is an example I have where I have the color of um, favorite colors of a person. Um, I have the frequencies of those. I also have the relative frequencies, but we're going to use the frequencies. So what I need to do first is type these frequencies in, the 3, the 1, the 4, and so forth, all the way down. I have to give this a name since this has to do with frequency of colors. I think I'll call it F color. So going back to R, I would type in F color. Um, R is case sensitive, so you do not want to put in a capital letter if you don't want to remember to do that every time. The next thing you do to put in something into R, to put a variable in R, you put in a less than symbol and a dash. It kind of makes like a little arrow, so you could kind of see an arrow there. Um, and anytime you go to put a variable in, that's what you want to do. And then you want to type C. C means to combine. And then put in a parenthesis and then type in the data. So we were typing in the data 3, 1, 4, 6, 8, 3, and 2. And then hit return. So now R has saved that data into there. So our next job is to go ahead and type in a bar plot because we want to do a bar graph. So we're going to do bar plot and then we want to do it on the variable f color. And if that's all we did, we would get a bar graph with f color. I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So if I hit return, you're going to see a window comes up and creates this bar graph. Now the problem with this bar graph is first off we don't know what any of these columns are so we need to put labels down here on the horizontal axis with what those are. Every graph needs a title and every graph needs to have the axes labeled. So we're going to go back and do that. You can either close this window or leave it in the background. I'm going to leave it in the background. So I'm going to change this and instead say I'm going to do a bar plot of F color and then I want to put the names of my categories or my arguments and I say that that's names.arg that's the notation we use in R so names.arg equals C again means combine and then in quotes put in the different colors in the same order that the numbers were in so the frequencies the first frequency had to do with red so you type in red close that quote then open another quote um, and put in orange on a Mac the um, it automatically, if you open a quote, it puts in the close quote. On the PC, it doesn't do that, so just remember to close your quotes. Put a comma in between each one of these names. So the next frequency had to do with yellow, comma, the next frequency had to do with green, the next frequency had to do with blue. Oops, I forgot my quote. The next frequency had to do with purple, and then the last one was other. Um, whatever you type in here is exactly what it will put in there, so you want to make sure you do that exactly as you see. Then close that parenthesis that we had for the names at argument. And again, we want to put a label on the x-axis, so we call that x-label, or x-lab for short. And that lab, that happens to be color. We want to put in a y-label, and that happens to be frequency. And then we want to put in a title. Title is always main. So you type in main and then you type in what title you want. I'm going to put in favorite color. And then if you don't happen to like the color of the columns of being blue, you can make them any color you want. So you can say color equals and then in quotes put in blue. Um, you can also do color equals without quotes and do rainbow and say how many colors of the rainbow you want. I personally don't like them all different colors, so I'm just going to call mine blue. Make sure you put it in parentheses, I'm um, in quotes, and then finally close out the final parentheses. Now you can use any other color you want, you don't have to use blue, there are some colors where it won't know what you mean, but you can certainly try different colors. If it doesn't colorize, then pick a different color. Now if I hit enter, you're not going to see anything happen, and that's because I didn't close the um, graph window when I created it before, and it's just going to keep it in the background. So if you come up under window at the top of your screen, 
you're going to see something that either says, mine says quartz because I'm on a Mac, yours will say something different, and just hit, um, it'll say something like graph or something. And you just go to that, and here is our picture with the, now the different labels for the colors. Color as my label, frequency as my label, and a title on it. So there's my graph. I can either print it, or I can go under edit, and I can actually say I want to copy this, and then you can just paste it directly into Word. So that's how we create a bar graph in R.